This video is going to be on is um why is Altru um hospital um getting away with committing crimes against me? Um what are they doing that the FBI, the police and people aren't aware of? You know, there are times that I have wondered why have not I not done what my dad um, did growing up. Why couldn't I have just been involved with that? If, you know, that's really sad because he did really bad things and he got away with so much. Yet I am a good person and yet I am getting uh, um, so much stuff happen to me when I don't, when I, all I do is just try to live a good life. All I do is try to be a good person. And right now I'm dealing with false charges of being an innocent person, but a corrupt city called Grand Forks, North Dakota, that acts like they're these angels, acts like they're saints, acts like they do nothing wrong. All they do is like to be, fa is, uh, is like to, uh, live by the law so much that they'll actually commit crimes of charging innocent people like me with false crimes. That's a felony. A felony. False crimes is prison time, yet they have not dropped it. When is the FBI going to get involved with this, huh? And charge those people, arrest the people that are committing crimes against me. It makes me wonder how much other activity is going on in Grand Forks to get away with um, doing something. If they can charge me with a crime, an innocent good person like me, what else are they getting away with? You know there are people that will get will get arrested for doing crimes that they're naughty that aren't that are very small and yet big people that are actually doing real crimes, real serious crimes will get away with things. You know what the really serious crimes are? The government that are that are continuing to to, to kill people in in the um when it comes to the wars in the military. Violence after violence of the military killing people is somehow not a crime, yet people who are actually not even violent or defending themselves, you know, self-defense, you know, you learn that whether you learn it in martial arts or, or even in defense where you're just trying to stop someone from doing something that's wrong. You're just, a, you're, an accident happens because someone's doing something bad to you. You know, you get bullied in, the, in school. And yet, you're the bad one when the bully does something wrong. That makes absolutely no sense on the kind of schools or, um, have a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, you know, um, ways about them where they do not deal with things in the right way, where they do not treat things fairly. And that goes further into society as people get older into the law and how they deal with people. Sick country we live in. Sick America that do not know how to help people and do not know how to arrest the right people and know how to do the right things. New York, this just makes North Dakota look like a crazy, horrible state. Wake up, North Dakota. Wake up, America. When are we going to actually help people and stop being evil? Stop being a sick country? You wonder why America is so bad? Because people, all they do is try to um, think they're doing the right thing when all they do is put people in prison, put people in jail. Put people, even putting people in mental hospitals. Mental hospitals suck. I know from experience that mental hospitals, they are horrible. But going to college, you guys stink at your job. People in jail stink at their job. People in the law stink at the job. Because you don't know how to help people. You don't know how to do the right thing. You don't know how to, how to be loving. And you put innocent people away. You know what? You can try to do the right thing. And I give you credit for trying. But trying and actually giving it A plus plus actually job versus A plus effort are two different things. I did a lot for Grand Forks. I did a lot for Laramore, North Dakota. I've done a lot in this world. Even when I could have done a lot more. What is wrong with that state of North Dakota? We need to wake up and fix this country instead of acting so, so blind, so foolish, so dumb to not see what we're really doing wrong. If we really care about people, we wouldn't put innocent people away. We wouldn't be so ignorant. So stupid when it comes to help people. Just because someone does something bad, and I'm not including myself even when I have made mistakes in my life. I'm including the fact that when people do bad, people actually help them instead of just put them away in jail. Don't be stupid. Help people. Don't be hateful. Help people. Don't be ignorant or foolish. Help people. Stop with this whole jail system in America and start actually creating a rehabs. We need rehabs, not jails. What a freaking country that thinks they're so great. Make America great again. How about make America better? Not great again. How, oh, let's make a better president. Let's have a make America more politicians. Let's add more people, have more people to help people. 
How about let's stop thinking that you're good because you go to college or you're good because you're religious or you're good because you think you know it all or because you can judge people. You can, you can put people in jail when you're the judge. You can put people in jail because you're a policeman. That doesn't make you a good person and that doesn't make you doing the right thing. Let's fix society by actually helping people. All I did was trying to, um, wanted to kill myself that day and then I changed my mind. And then the police had the right to force me out of my home. You sick police officers, you should all be fired. You sick police officers for forcing stuff off of me. That is abuse. Abuse. Let's fix society.